Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at IGCSE ICT chapter 5, the most repeated questions. Now I really apologize for not posting in a long time because I'm also preparing for the May June 2025. So I've been a bit busy, but I promise I'll be posting regularly again. So let's start. Now you see this document has been prepared for the old syllabus, but it has most of the repeated questions. You see, questions involving jobs and employment are no longer part of the syllabus. So wherever you see employment or what ICT has to do with employment, please know that this is not part and you do not have to know anything about. It. OK, so with that removed, let's move on to the next question. So advantages and disadvantages of a microprocessor control device. Now, before we even look at the disadvantage and advantage, let's look at what microprocessor is, which is over here. OK, so role of microprocessors. A microprocessor is basically just a CPU built into a single chip. OK, the central processing unit built into a single chip, which control. So it's a control device that affects how we live in our home, how our leisure time, how we interact socially. OK. So they have an effect on our needs to actually leave a house, labor saving devices, example. Now, the examples that I'm going to give over here or the ones that are mentioned here are some of the devices that use microprocessors. So if they ever ask you a question, give three examples of devices that use microprocessors. Just name these ones. Automatic washing machine, microwave ovens, cookers, automatic dishwashers robots, vacuum cleaners, bread making machines and smart fridges and free freezers. Now you'd notice something. All these devices, they help to reduce the amount of work you do. The clothes are being washed, food is being heated, the dishes are being washed. So what do microprocessors do, uh, control devices do is that they work in a way that reduces the amount of work we have to do. OK, now that might sound a bit complicated, but as we move further into this video, you'll understand it. So how does this microprocessor work now over here? They have explained it using an uh, example of an automatic cooker. An automatic cooker has temperature sensors and a number of controls to set the cooking time. Now, you do not need to know specifically for automatic cooker, but you need to understand the idea. So you see a microprocessor, right? Forget that we are looking at an automatic cooker. When, once you read the first sentence, it itself tells you that it uses temperature sensors. OK and a number of controls. So from this, what we need to learn is that microprocessors, how do they work using sensors and controls? OK. Now that's something we know to set the cooking time. The microprocessor checks the set time against the current time. And when they are equal, the cooker heating elements are switched on. OK, so that means that the microprocessor checks the values against pre-given values, right? OK, yeah. Then uh, once the cooker starts the cooking process, the micro uh, checks the end time. Yep. When they're equal, the cooking process is stopped. So when the values that are now changing reach the pre-given value, the process stops, right? The microprocessor checks the temperature data sent from a sensor and sorry and turns the heating element on if the value less than the preset value very important word preset value chosen by the user so now when asked how a microprocessor worked there are key words that you need to know sensors controls this phrase then preset values And you see this process that it does, right? It first checks the time and then once it's done, the cooking process is stopped. Now that is for this specific automatic cooker. If there was another example over here, what would use is actually actuators to control the, the way a microprocess is work. So these are just some way that you need to know. So sensors detect the change in the environment or the change in the values. Controls is what we are controlling. You check the value against the instead of saying pre given values, say preset values and then using actuators gives a response. OK, so that's how microprocessors work. Then let's move on to the 
advantages and disadvantage of using this microprocessors uh, microprocessor control devices now there are two uh, ways you need to know one is lifestyle related and one is non lifestyle or not related to lifestyle okay now these are basically logical questions that you do not need to really think about so if the microprocessor control devices are doing the work for you that means that you have to do less number of manual tasks now if you're doing less number of manual tasks this will give you time to do other things such as uh, shopping or pursue your uh, hobbies because these devices are doing the manual task for you smartphone can make control to switch on or off the central heating from wherever you're sitting instead of you walking and then turning off the switch or off the uh, on or off the switch you can just sit and then using your smartphone you can just control how the light or the central heating works now microprocessors also give automatic burglar alarms giving people a sense of security smart fridges and freezers can lead to healthy lifestyle now the key words that you need to know from here is reduced number of manual tasks leads to healthy lifestyle sense of security then you can control things from wherever you are so just highlight this and gives people time to do other activities now these are the keywords that you need to know or um, explain when you're talking about microprocessors and the advantages now disadvantages while you have mentioned that they lead to a healthy lifestyle here you can very well say that they lead to an unhealthy lifestyle because you are getting the meal made by computers ready-made meal it makes people lazy since they're depending on the devices okay so once we say healthy over here we can contradict them by saying unhealthy makes the people lazy people become less fit so develop this point just lie around doing the devices carry out the tasks people lose household skills yes because the devices are doing it for them now there's a key word that we use for this de-skilling okay so these are skills and skills loss of basically loss of skills right and it can make people less social because they are basically at home they are not going out which can lead to depression or anxiety now these are some points that you can take when talking about microprocessors related to lifestyle now when we come to not related to lifestyle microprocessors save energy since the devices can switch on and off themselves they are easy to program the, the devices using qr codes instead of you pressing the buttons manually then some people may not be familiar with this technology leaving devices just on see can start uh, on standby like tv is very wasting of electricity so now you save energy here but you waste energy here so once you know the points here and you know how to talk against those points you get to know the points here as well some electronic devices can't repair specially circuit boards so they are just thrown away okay so that's for that now we need to talk, come and talk about this health problems okay now when you talk about health problems in ict they are very there are particular ones that you need to know rsi repetitive strain injury then you have eye strain you have backache and you have headache so these are the health problems that are commonly found in ict so now what the question is asking is that advantages and disadvantages of using methods to help minimize the health problems so now what the methods that you're going to help to minimize these life uh, sorry health problems what are their advantages and disadvantages now this is usually a eight mark question which is very common okay so we need to know now you see once you have identified the four key health problems right you can get your points really easy for example let me change the color here when you talk about just rsi right you have one point on rsi another on rsi another on rsi and another on rsi so just rsi has given you four marks which you need okay when we come to eye strain eye strain eye strain eye strain eye strain eye strain so even eye strain has given you one two five points itself come when you come to back kick another back kick uh, this thing neck pain headache and all that so they are all there just know the health problems and then be able to describe them or explain them okay 
Now let's look at them. If the screen is 90 degrees to the window, it reduces the air strain, eye strain or the glare. If you use a screen filter or blue glass, eye strain is reduced. LCD, liquid crystal display, screens are used, then eye strain is reduced. So these type of monitor screens help to reduce eye strain. If the eye is in level with the top of the screen, that will reduce eye strain or neck ache. Okay, cause you don't, your screen is like this and your point of view is like this. So your neck is straight and there's less eye strain. But if your device is like this and you're looking down, then your neck also has to, has, has to bend, which will lead to neck ache, right? If I take excessive braid from excessive clicking on the mouse, this reduces RSI. So RSI is caused by excessive clicking and um, excessive repetitive strain movements. Okay. So if you take some breaks, that will help reduce RSI. You can use voice activated system, which also reduce RSI. You can use a rest, wrist rest for RSI. Ergonomic chair will reduce backache as well as RSI. Okay, if I do not use the computer for long periods and I take short, short breaks, that will also help reduce all of these. RSI or backache or eye strain or the carpal syndrome or the cubital syndrome or the neck pain. So now these are just some of these ones that you need to know. Don't really need to know cubital syndrome and carpal syndrome. Just stick to RSI, backache, eye strain and then neck pain, right? Now these were the advantages. We need to know the disadvantages of doing this okay turning the screen can reduce your ability to see clearly on the screen laptops can be difficult to ensure that the screen is 90 plus 90 degrees as the whole unit needs to be moved cost of safety uh, equipment can be expensive voice activated can be prone to many errors which may increase rsi correcting these errors users can become over reliant on equipment with laptops or screen it can become difficult to position it to the eye level uh, as it is at the top of the screen, taking breaks every hour can increase the work time, which can be expensive for firms or businesses. Now, you see, the way ICT is, to be honest, ICT is a bit weird. They repeat the same points with different wordings. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you get marks for that. If not, you don't get the marks for that. Now, um, one thing I'll suggest, one tip for, for ICT students before I go is that use Save My Exams. Okay? save my exams ict notes are the best now i'm not sponsored by save my exams or i'm just saying this out of personal experience use save my exams dot com all right that'll be all for this videos new videos coming today make sure to like share and subscribe till then i'll see you in the next video bye bye